at your sales. Right. What about uh, the load? So Nick, you said you're a mattress salesman? Mm -hmm. I sell mattresses, yeah. What haven't you done? Uh, a lot of stuff. So you mean to tell me like you've never made like a low-key joke to about sexual things when you were uh, like selling mattresses? Like you ever like look at the, the couple like this mattress has got the cushion for the pushing. Okay, see that's not low-key. But there's there's a lot of low-key things you can do with a mattress. Um, so, like, let's say you're selling and it's, like, two hot girls. Oh, God. You can be like, and it's got a lot of, uh, it's got a lot of support. So if you need that, it's there for you. <laughs> like, hit on those, like, those sad parts. It's, like, way. more than just what it needs. It's exactly. Like a deeper, it's, like, deep. And when you have old people, because it's mainly old people. Oh, that, my grandma just bought, they just bought like two mattresses. Exactly. Because they think that they have to buy a new mattress every two years. A mattress they wanna lasts. Get, they want to be comfortable though. Right. But a mattress lasts eight to ten years. Actually, let me tell you a story. I was talking to this lady. Uh, she was in her late 60s, maybe early 70s. She was a spry old lady, but you could tell that she was sick. And she was telling me uh, what she was looking for, and I was like, well listen, any bed that you get is gonna last eight to 10 years. And to that, she retorted, I'm just looking for a bed that I can comfortably die on. <laughs> and it got very sad <laughs> for yeah, a little bit. Really, it went from zero to 100. <laughs> it went zero to 100 real quick. That's really morbid of her. Yeah. And I loved that old lady. I ended up selling her, like, a memory foam mattress. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know if she's dead yet, but if she isn't, go you. I know, I know, like, memory foam doesn't do this, but it'd be funny if it actually kept the outline of her body when she died. Yeah, that would be funny. That's terrible. I can't believe I said that. Oh, well. Life is too short to not be morbid. Can you please go a little faster, sir? Oh, uh, country roads. I hate country. country. people. You came from Nebraska. I still hated country, country music, country people, farms, horses. Dude, what do you get? What do you got against horses? I don't know. I actually don't have anything against horses. I didn't think so. I've ridden quite a few horses in my life. I've never seen a person just go, "I hate horses." Um, that's I know a big one boat. person that hates horses. Um, that's not a big boat. You are about to see big boats. We are going to a boat show, Ethan. Oh yeah, true. Okay, that's the end of that.